Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week we're going to go with Jeff Pro's posse member. No They're going to go elk hunting. No read? No read. Okay, just Naturally, check. baby. That's just all that hot air. Yep. Get it from you. <laughs> okay, anyways, we're going to go elk hunting in New Mexico. Self-guided hunt. Jeff and his son Chris and a couple of guests are going to join them. This week's lucky logo is? Look for evolved. Evolved habitats. Okay, and it's we've got some great elk hunting tips also, so let's just get going with the show. <laughs> let's just roll. Well, September the 7th here. We're finally on our way to New Mexico. All the months of preparation and getting ready. We're going on our annual elk hunt down in southwest New Mexico. Can't really wait. Had a lot of moisture, green grass. The bulls are in good shape this year. Ought to be a great season, so. There's nothing more rewarding than a do-it-yourself elk hunt in the Rocky Mountain West for bull elk. It's something I've been doing for a lot of years, been going since about 1985, and there's just something about putting your hunt together yourself and going out there and chasing those big bulls in those Rocky Mountains in September. I just love it. You want to narrow your search down to the area where you're going to hunt, and my recommendation would be to call the wildlife, the wildlife departments in this, the various states that you're interested in and get a hold of their biologists and find out where they recommend where the highest densities of elk are. Or if you're looking for big bulls, they can kind of guide you in that direction too. So, you know, being from the Midwest where we're from, it, obviously it's hard to, to go out and actually scout for elk. I've done it a couple times in the summer months, but primarily the way that we scout for elk is with topo maps. And now with the, with the internet, you can use satellite imagery. One thing to do is once you've narrowed down the area that you want to hunt in the particular state that you're wanting to go to, is go to Google Earth. Google Earth is the most incredible tool to, it's satellite imagery, and it just, it's color pictures of the area that you're gonna hunt to from an aerial format, and it's just an awesome tool to scout. You can find meadows, you can find water holes, drainages, creeks, benches, ridges, all the stuff that you're looking for where the elk are, you can find it with satellite imagery. You know what I look for when I'm out scouting for elk and as I'm hunting is I'm trying to locate the north slopes, damp, moist areas, Elk are big animals and they have really thick hair and they get hot easy. So they like to be in the shade, they like to be around really wet, damp areas such as north slopes. And one key thing that I've used for a number of years is a GPS unit. And I'll tell you, the GPS unit has done more for me in helping me find my way around the mountains, locate water holes, have them marked on my GPS, saddles, benches, any place that I've found elk in past years or where I found them scouting while I'm hunting, I can mark it on that GPS and I know I can get right back to that spot. 
not only is the GPS an invaluable hunting tool as far as finding the areas that you want to hunt and being able to go back to those areas and find them again, it also gives you that security of getting back to your vehicle at night when you're way back in the mountains and you're trying to find your truck. Hey Jeff, those are some great tips. Yeah, thanks a bunch. And don't go away because after these commercials, we have a lot more action coming up. Yep. Like Do you notice a resemblance of like a cow elk call is so irritating? That female call just is so aggravating and irritating. Now the bull, the man call, masculine. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Jeff, there were some great tips. And now we got some more tips from Jeff, and then we're gonna get some serious hunting. Serious. Serious hunting. Serious elk hunting. And then we'll see what happens. How about when my bees are... Did it didn't, I got it right where I was supposed to. <sighs> not about what kind of calls I use when I'm elk hunting. Primarily about 95% of the time, I'm elk hunting with a cow call. I do some bugling, but primarily I, I use it as a locator call, just like you use an owl hooter in turkey calling. I mostly locate the elk with a bugle, but when I move in close, I'm primarily just doing a cow call to, to lure the bulls in. Remember one thing when you're looking for elk in the west. Wherever you find water, you're typically going to find where the elk are. They like to be around water. They're big animals. They need a lot of water, and especially those bulls in the fall when they're rutting, they like to find those water holes to wallow in. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week for all you bear hunters who are bearing down. You know, a lot of times we're traveling up in Canada or whatever, and most of the guides will cape your or skin out your hide, take the skull out of the, out of your rug. But how do you get it home? We've got a Cabela's dry bag, and a lot of companies make these. But the advantage of this is whether the hide's salted or they're just going to freeze it. You turn around. Skin to skin, take the bag, make sure it's open on your vent. Before you freeze it to ship it home or take it home on the plane, all you do is start stuffing this baby right in this waterproof, won't leak bag. So all the airlines love you. Compress it down. Make sure your name's on it, seal it up, throw it in the freezer at your outfitters. That's what you're taking home. That is your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week. Don't go away, because we come back, arrows are gonna be flying. Welcome back, when we left, Jeff was almost he there. He was getting so close. So now, close. let's see what happens. That boy could hunt some elk now. Mm -hmm.
push. I shot, I shot him, I don't know, about 27 to 30 yards. I hit him right in the pocket. Five point. Now look, I caught him just on the top of that shoulder. Didn't I? Poke out the other side? No. It must be in that far shoulder. It's in the off shoulder, I'm sure. So here it is. Nice five by five bull. Got into a bunch of elk this morning. We was on these bulls last night down below us in this canyon. We, we believe it's the same group of elk. And just worked out, man. We got up in here and got tight to them in a bedding area. And we slipped up. They were bugling to our left and kind of parallel in our approach. And we came into this little pocket. It was just a little open spot in the middle of all this thick cover. And wouldn't you know it, this bull just walked right through it just perfectly. Shot him about 25, 27 yards. And gosh, he didn't go probably less than 100 yards and we found him. So. I'm a happy hunter and we got one on the ground and some good meat for the freezer. It's a good day. Great bull. Back, Jeff, congratulations on that great bull. Now let's join Zach, one of Jeff's neighbors, a 15 year old hunter as he goes out on his first ever elk hunt plus his first ever elk encounter. Way to go, Zach. Way to stay calm on your first encounter. It was close. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, Zach's gonna get another shot at it. Guys, no, come on, Sparky, no, no. Welcome no. back to the Archer's Trice. I told you, Ralph, not to chew on your car. Sparky, get out of here. <laughs> Welcome back. Now let's get Zach. He's getting really close to those bulls. Let him keep getting it. Ralph, let's check the bite marks. I don't think it was her.
so nervous I can't really talk. I said if we can get into their bedroom and get them bedded, we can kill one of them because we just couldn't catch them. We got up there, made one call. He walked right in there, this 15-year-old boy just killed his first elk. You just found your first elk. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's awesome, buddy. We got it. That's awesome. Just, you remember this, because you'll never do this again. That's your very first elk. You know what I'm saying? Let's go get it. Well, here it is. It's September 15th in New Mexico, and I got 15-year-old Zach Alderton with me here today. He's got his first bull elk ever, and We've had a heck of a hunt, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We've been all up and down this place and finally got in the right spot and put it to them. We have ran up and down these mountains all week long, and I was fortunate enough, I shot a bull about three days ago and been taking Zach out. Zach's the son of a good friend of mine, Brian Alderton, from northeast Missouri, and we hooked up to come down here this year together, and we've had one fantastic hunt, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Wow, what a show. Thanks for joining us, because you talk about elk. Yeah, that was great. And Zach Elk and down, elk and down. It's Congrats on those great elk, and I mean, all self-guided, New Mexico. You've got to adhere to some of Jeff's tips. Those were great. And if any of you are looking to go on your own self-guided elk hunt, take those tips in mind, keep those tips in mind. If you happen to see the Lucky Logo was Evolved Habitat, Yes. Log on to archerschoice.com, hit the Lucky Logo button, give us some information. Someone's going to win some stuff from Evolved. You might evolve. Unlike you. Where did you get it here? And here, that's a big word for me. I know, that's it why it surprised my, me. <laughs> the, the we'll see Sirius, you next week, Sirius, same time. Sirius. Same channel. Right here, on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice, Choice. at here. You know, at here. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs>